With its rolling Tuscan hills, white gravel roads and iconic finish into Siena's old town, Strada Bianchi has quickly become one of the most celebrated races on the cycling calendar. However, to date, only one male Italian rider has taken a home victory in the Piazza del Campo, former Cannondale man Moreno Moza. I think Strada Bianca is uh, probably, yeah, I think it's probably the best race uh, uh, of the season. I think it's one of the only races that when you're racing it, you can a little bit enjoy even the landscape, the, the place. Because normally when you're in the race, you, you don't see anything. You join us live here at the Strada Bianchi, the seventh running of the great event. We have four riders, as you can see, in our escape group. Their maximum gap back to the chasers was nine minutes, very, very quick order as well. When I won Strada Bianchi, it was uh, my second race of the year. And I was coming uh, directly through the altitude uh, camp in Teide, and I, I came here, and uh, I have a condition that I didn't expect to have. Strade Bianca is a lot more for climbers than for climbers. There's uh, a lot more of uh, uh, elevation gain. I mean, yeah, Cancellara won it two, three times, but Cancellara was another story. <laughs> For sure, at the start, I wouldn't believe that I could win. I remember the meeting before the race when uh, the director, uh, Shirea, uh, said uh, that for sure Sagan was the captain, but uh, if there was the opportunity, I could uh, play my cards and maybe try to attack uh, in the final or the last, the, the last 20Ks. Cancellara did an attack, and we remain like uh, 15 riders, and then Cancellara stops, start, everybody starts to look around, and I just take the opportunity, I attack. Cancellara and Sagan, they are brutalizing poor old Fletcher. <laughs> oh my goodness, now then, what about this for a move? Check him out, Moser. get your range. Moser turns on the gas and just decides to stretch his legs here. Oh, poor old Fletcher here has been bitten. Of course, everybody was looking for Peter and they leave me go. And here, thank you, there goes Fletcher and here comes Moser. He's kicked him away at the moment. I have to be honest, I don't remember anything. I'd... <laughs> what the, the director was saying in the radio. Yeah. People screaming, a lot of noise, but uh, I don't remember what, what he was saying. I was crazy. Yeah, I was crazy. Moser has a look. Now then, he's reaching a little bit of a plateau. Can Moza just take the final couple of bend, bends and break some hearts here? This will be an amazing victory for him if he does. He's out of the sun and he's gone. Moza's picked it up and he's just spinning away here. He's got it, I think. Oh, this is amazing. I was expecting to be probably the first 10 position, but not, not to win, so I don't know. I, was not even sure that uh, it was the finish. Maybe it was another lap. <laughs> Hundred meters to go. Here comes our champion, Moreno Moza, gets the roar. What a piece of skill! What a piece of endeavour! He has made this happen. And if you needed any kind of confirmation about what Canadale have got. Sagan crosses the line in second place, a one-two for them. I probably cried a little bit, I don't, I don't remember, probably, yeah.
e capo gruppo Spe, l'applauso di Siena per il dominatore. Everything in the race is really iconic and um, the thing that permits to this really young race to became immediately uh, super classic. Yeah. Probably Sale Bianca it's a most beautiful race. Yeah. And I'm happy to be the only Italian who won. <laughs>